The Stinger Transition feature in Sound of EV Mux is a game changer. It truly allows you to be able to level up the production of your live streams or recorded content. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and set up Stinger Transitions, and I'm also going to demo it so you can see what it looks like in action. So let's go ahead and dive into my EV Mux account so you can see just how easy this truly is. So once you're inside of your EV Mux account, you're going to be inside of the live stream editor. The Stinger Transition feature is going to be available under Pro Scenes, not dynamic so keep that in mind so under the pro scenes you're going to want to select a scene or create a new scene i'm going to utilize this scene here that says anthony alone on each scene you're going to see three little dots you're going to select that and you're going to see that a stinger transition option is now available so you'll select that and this is going to go ahead and bring you over here to the gallery so you're going to see that we have some predefined stinger transitions already set up for you if you don't have some custom ones so you have some fade down fade up slide up slide down zoom in zoom out roll in and out and then flip in and out so you can select any one of those and we've already designed them to be nicely smooth transitions for you so you can select those if you don't have your own but if you have your own custom ones you have the option to be able to add from gallery okay that are there or you can go ahead and upload from your computer and this is what i recommend you do if you have some custom logos like i'm going to show you here now so we've uploaded a custom ev mux logo singer transition that we've used before in the town hall and you'll see here that once you select your custom scene transition, you now have a second option here, which is to set the time when the scene should be changed. And what this means is that setting the time by this little cue point, which says right here, set the scene transitions cue point, recommended set a time when the scene transition is covering the whole screen. So let's just go ahead and demo this where it's at. Now by default, EVMux does a good job of setting the point for you, but of course you can always come and fine tune this. So we're gonna head to play, you'll see scene one, Single transition happens and then scene two comes in. Now, if this was done a little bit too early, what would happen is that scene two would already change before the transition is even happening. So this is where you want to look at that. The, the sweet spot is to go ahead and have a transition on scene one. And then when the stinger transition is finishing for scene two to come up, right? So we'll go ahead and hit save. And before that, you'll see here, you see the option to use an audio track. So what this means is that if your single transition has music, you have the option to toggle that music on and off which is simply amazing so we don't have a music for this so i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it off i'm gonna hit save and then you have the option to be able to go ahead and put different stinger transitions for different scenes like we do in the town hall and i'm gonna demo that here for you in just a moment so again let's go ahead and see what this looks like in real time so i'm simply gonna go ahead and record I'm going to go ahead and hit start recording and this is going to go ahead and give me the option to be able to see the preview on the program and show you what this looks like in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and transition this over just for the time being and you'll see here that the transition is actually happening that I just went ahead and set. But I want to show you what this looks like when we actually do it inside of our town hall. So here we have our countdown timer. This is going to actually auto switch. So I'm just going to put that live and that's going to auto switch to our main talking. But for example, if I switch over to the main talking manually, the single transition is going to go ahead and kick in and you'll see here the single transition happens so that's one way of doing it when we switch over to a video we do a separate transition and you'll see that here in just a few moments so you can see here that it just adds another level of professionalism to your content to be able to customize things to the way that you feel we try to not templatize you and give you so much creativity so you can create a unique live stream or recording of whatever it is that you want to go ahead and create so just like that you can see just how easy it is to be able to go ahead and add stinger transitions directly into your pro scenes to level up your content now if you want to learn more about pro scenes click this video right here where I go deeper into pro scenes and the different things you're able to do to level up the creativity and production of your content click that video right there I'll see you guys in the next video